So, you like Minecraft, right? Well, now it never stops snowing. Have fun freezing your toes off in permafrost. This place is cold. A Minecraft mod pack with a never-ending blizzard. It's very, very cold and very, very difficult. <laughs> and of course, I tried to beat it. We got things like mobs who can use deadly ice magic, confusing caves that literally never end, creepers that can just spawn more creepers. What is this shit? Than the most terrifying highway I've ever walked on. <sighs> My challenge is simple. There's a guidebook with many quests, and I need to complete the first quest line without going over 15 deaths. God fucking damn it. This was one of the most stressful things I've ever done. I'm not kidding. I almost cried twice and I'm not afraid to admit it. <laughs> I'm such a bitch. So let's begin the suffering by starting at the beginning, which isn't even the real beginning because I had an absolutely terrible time trying to start a world. I had many starts where I was absolutely slaughtered. So let's take a look at how my first attempt went as it was a rather quality learning experience. Let's fucking go. I spawned in my first world and was greeted with permafrost's wonderful atmosphere. Um, it's snowing. <laughs> Winter is the chat season because snow is cool. However, I was but a naked man, and with no source of heat, I was going to freeze unless I did something about it. I checked the guide, which is honestly really nicely put together. I really appreciate the effort into making it not look confusing as hell. I don't know what any of this shit is. Black Lotus. This is just a cube. The first quest is to simply make a campfire, which I probably do before I succumb to the elements. Ah! Now, permafrost is much more than just cold Minecraft. You'll see why in a minute. My next quest is to craft a fire stick, and understanding it is very important. Most of the overworld mobs are frozen variants of their vanilla counterparts, and being in the storm makes them basically invincible unless you use fire. You fuck! Trying to kill a mob without fire is a painful experience to say the least. Are you fucking me? Are you fucking my The guidebook explains that mobs will only be vulnerable if you hit them with any type of fire. This includes things like a slap from the fire stick or a fire charge. Afterwards, it'll only be vulnerable for 10 seconds, forcing you to be very careful with how you fight. This is made pretty difficult because you need to get in close to use the fire stick, but then the mobs can just use a nice spell that damages the area around them. The only way to completely avoid this is to time your hits really well or use a fire charge, which you'll only have a limited amount of. And eventually, got pretty dark and I still had no way of keeping warm besides my little campfire. Oh no. Uh, let's head back. So I took this as a sign to start my new life as a cave dweller. There was even a quest to eat some cave root. I love cave food. My favorite meal. It really seemed like the place to be. Oh, this is definitely a cave. I'm truly an intellectual. This is where I mentioned the fantastic caves in this mod pack and the way they work is genius. The entire underground is actually just one really big cave. It's big. So once you get inside the cave system, you can literally explore forever. The most fun part of vanilla Minecraft is finding cool caves to explore. And now those caves are 10 times more interesting and will never end. This means that finding ores is now about exploration and discovery and not doing this for 20 minutes. However, this also means that they can be very easy to get lost in. So wanting to avoid that, I headed back up to the surface, which was a mistake. The frozen zombie is the most common mob you'll find. And I definitely found a few of them. Oh my God. What is he? What is happening? I'm, I'm like slowed down. My tiny brain thought it would be a good idea to spam the fire stick and i broke it in record time oh my oh god it broke oh my god there's so many of them holy shit then the skeletons came in and it was just a slaughter oh my god no wow they're just oh my god they're annihilating me holy shit what do i do oh you know this music is quite soothing but the situation is not uh whoa no go down go down go down quick time to go into my hole oh shit Oh my god. I have a fairly low digit IQ, as my main attempt for safety was to just try and bum rush past the zombies. No! Oh no 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 Jesus fuck fuck the really fun part of permafrost is that mobs don't burn during daylight. Meaning, if you had an issue occur at night, the game won't just solve your problems for you. What am I supposed to do here? They don't burn! They don't burn! Oh my god, I don't even know. Can I even I decided it wasn't really worth salvaging and just made another world. That did not, uh, go well. Now, I don't want to waste time here. The next few worlds were also major shit shows. I tried to kill the mobs that would normally harass me at the start, and that was problematic. Also, another fun, wacky aspect about campfires is that they sometimes just don't work. You don't need hypothermia. It's warm. <laughs> you thought fire would keep you warm? Can this go away already? I'm right next to it. Look. Look at this. Why? I'm wearing fucking clothes and I'm next to a campfire. What else do you want me to do? I was sick of this block based fuckery and decided to keep making worlds until I found a biome I liked. Fucking this uh, shit is so hard. Also important note, you kind of need trees to survive. <laughs> fucking piece of shit. Oh! So don't be like me and get three desert biomes in a row. That's a cactus. I don't want to live in the desert if it's the snowy, the snowy Arctic. Are you kidding me? It's another fucking Arcadia biome. What?
What is this bullshit? Okay, finally, this was it. I immediately started working on building a house. I finally built my new luxurious home. Oh, I finally built a, a house. Look at it. Isn't it gorgeous? That probably isn't good, huh? Look at this. This is... Oh, I'm living in luxury, truly. Ow, fuck. That was not intentional. God fucking damn it. This game's stupid. That was... Ugh. The next quest was to eat that delicious cave food, so I worked my way to the nearest cave. And luckily, the cold doesn't reach down here, but that doesn't mean the enemies won't be any nicer. I'm not equipped to deal with you. I'm not equipped to deal with you. What? What is this stair design? Ah, shit. Fuck. They may not know ice magic, but instead, they're just fucking ripped. What? No, oh, they got buff zombies. Holy shit. It's fucking Chad. If you find a zombie brute, don't fight it. How do you set me on fire? Now be smart and run away in fear. While running away, I was introduced to the permafrost version of the creeper. What the, are you shitting me? Oh, oh no. What is this shit? What the fuck is what? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> He looks like a standard creeper, but now when he explodes, he introduces you to his entire extended family. He drops his green field around himself that allows for what I'm going to call creeper links to spawn. I finally found the cave route I needed for my quest. It actually was everywhere, but it took me this long because I am but a brainlet. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm a dumb. I didn't realize that the roots everywhere were all edible. My diet consists solely of cave root. I completed that quest and headed home for the night. <laughs> Look at this idiot. Now that night, I tried fighting the local population, but they very quickly told me I wasn't welcome. No, ah, oh, fuck. And then used wall hack magic through my door. Oh, oh no. Ah, what? I honestly don't recommend going out at night. You'll end up just spawning a bunch of mobs that you'll have to deal with in the morning. No. Nope. Ah! Just enjoy the cozy atmosphere instead. It's much nicer. Getting food right now is very difficult. It's just a, it's a lot easier just to die. Due to my carelessness, I was already at seven deaths and I had resorted to eating frozen flesh. So it seemed like a good idea to get to work on that next quest, which was to get a bucket of lava, meaning I had to go deep into the caves. This is where I start my life as a cave dweller. Dwelling in caves is what I do. The lava was found very quickly. It was actually relatively easy. So I turned in that quest and got a nice enchanted book that I didn't use because I had no anvil. Soul binding. Saves items from being dropped on death. I went back in for a moment, and it should be mentioned that if you ever try to fight anything, make sure you aren't holding the guidebook. What? No, stop! Stop looking at the fucking book! Oh my god. Oh. My house was looking fantastic, and I was feeling good. Ooh, decoration. Until I realized I needed an absurd amount of rotten flesh for the leather quest, as I had eaten all of my potential leather. Oh, I ate all of my leather. Fuck. <laughs> I ate all of my possible leather because I was dying. I wandered back into the cave, ran into another friend, and honestly, at this point, I don't really know what I was looking for. Oh, fuck. I forgot about that. They, why do they do that? They grow little creeper babies. I just got distracted by wanting to explore the cave and eventually got lost. Lead. Ooh, finally. The proper way to go. I have to make sure I don't get lost. Yeah, I'm, com I'm completely lost now. I have no idea how I will get back. These caves are honestly gorgeous. They often have a ton of small details everywhere and even have distinctive different biomes. This place is so sick. What is that? Can I eat it? Half of the fun is just exploring to see what new area you might stumble upon. This was terrible for my challenge though, because if I saw something interesting, I just run towards it without a single thought. These caves are just too interesting and my fucking brain sees something that I'm interested in and I rush towards it. I don't have any other options. I just go. I don't think I just got- oh fuck. I honestly do this a lot, and my curiosity made the challenge quite a bit harder. Um, I'm completely lost. Like, of course it's harmless to peek at the other quest lines. I even had some rewards I could claim. I'm, become, I'm gonna become a botanist? On these, these nuts. Let's staring at this guy? What the hell? What the fuck? Oh! Oh, he spat. Bro, oh, he spat. He's spitting. Spitting facts. Probably not the best move. Uh, for a good while, I was just wandering. Let me uh, explore the cave in peace. Ow. <laughs> Look at these little idiots. Look at these little idiots. I'm just gonna constantly... Oh, no. I also kept seeing these weird blocks, and my peanut brain demanded that I had to mess with them. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Oh, no. Holy fucking shit. Oh, bad bucks. Bad! Fuck's bad! Ah! Oh shit. I died. Oh no. And 
lost everything. And instead of gearing up to get my old items back, I blindly ran into the cave, hoping to just find them quickly. If you ever die in a cave, make sure to prep before looking for your items, because trying to find them again is nearly impossible. Some other mod packs try and fix this issue by using death markers, which this pack doesn't include. But I honestly don't know if they should be added or not. Not having them increases the risk of exploring, but can definitely be a bit frustrating to deal with. And during my search, this random huge group of zombies appeared. I honestly don't know why there are so many, but luckily gravity exists. I also found diamonds and had nothing to mine them. I don't know how anyone could navigate these caves. Like, what big brain genius do you need to be to remember where you're going here? I came across this chest and oh shit, it's not a chest. Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! I didn't even open you! I just went nearby! Yeah, that's a mimic. Some chests are in fact not chests at all. Instead, they're one of the most dangerous enemies in the game. Oh my god, this is such a kerfuckle. Whoa! Oh my god. Oh wow, this place is gorgeous, but I'm going to die. I barely managed to escape. And being honest, things weren't looking so great. But I eventually did manage to recover my items. Oh, I don't know how I did though. I just got really lucky. Also, props to Permafrost for managing to time the music perfectly. Oh my god, I found my stuff. That's actually huge. Another cool part of the caves is that you can stumble upon random structures. These can range from small camps to huge dungeons. This is also true for the overworld, really improving the feeling of exploration. It's genuinely fun to find new structures and even better if they have loot. I stumbled upon one of these small camps. Don't get near that. And then had the most brain dead moment. I was trying to figure out how to make flint and steel, managing to forget one of the core two ingredients. How do you... Oh. Oh, no, you need flint. I'm a fucking idiot. It's not coal. My stupidity surprises me so often. I next saw another structure, and this creeper basically forced me to build up to it. He even threw strange balls at me. I don't enjoy interacting with strange balls. I hopped into the structure, and oh boy, it couldn't have gone worse. I tried chasing after the skeleton and was met with something much worse. How did they get in here? What the? Why are there why is everyone suddenly in here? I can't climb the roots! Yeah, turns out this was a skeleton fortress, and when they start spawning, they don't stop. This is not a good situation to be in. Honestly, this would have been really cool to explore, but there was no way I was going to manage that, so I tried to escape. Oh my fucking god! Ah! ah! Shit. Yeah, I died and wasn't feeling too right about it. Oh my god, it took 10 years to find my shit. I'm gonna have to do that again. We out here surviving in shit-topia. So again, I headed back into this maze of a cave to find my stuff. And by the way, Minecraft mod packs aren't the most optimized things on the planet. I actually managed to get server tick rate lag in a single player game. How am I getting tick lag? It's just me. It's a single player game. On top of incredible tick rate, the mobs didn't ah! want to let up either. Permafrost uses the mod Spiders 2.0, which means they are much smarter and can crawl on the walls and ceiling. They're fucking relentless. This makes caves the perfect place for them to be as dangerous and terrifying as possible. Oh, fuck. Hey, I remember that guy. Can he spit at me from all the way over here? I'm pretty far out. Nah. I'm too far away. Oh! I don't know why I do these things to myself. And then I jumped into this pit. What? How did that happen? Oh my god. Now you see, this was a very, very fatal error, as I literally just softlocked myself. Okay, well, I would like to leave now. I actually had no way of getting out, as I didn't have any tools to remove any of the blocks, and there was no option for climbing. I think, I, am I perma stuck here? How do I get out? How do I, I, oh my god, have I fucked myself? Now, feel free to call me a dirty piece of shit cheater because I may have said fuck it and use spectator mode to get back to my items. Listen, I really wanted to do everything legit. I really did. But my only option out of that pit was death. And I really didn't want to spend another whole ass fucking hour looking for items in a confusing as shit cave. Oh my god. Yeah, there's no way I would have been able to find this. Like this would have ta taken me an hour, probably to find in survival. It legit took me 10 minutes to find my items in spectator mode. Even if I could escape that pit, imagine how fucking long it would take to find them legit. If you're mad and feel like I shouldn't have the items, <laughs> don't worry because soon you'll get your wish. I wasn't kidding when I said this pack made me cry. Anyway, with my totally legit items intact, oh, 
Totally found my items legit. <laughs> I managed to find some diamonds that I could actually mine. Oh, diamonds. I've had enough of these caves and dug my way out under the surface. I know it's cold as fuck outside, but like... Hey, grass. I found this nice tower and took shelter for a while. I can probably make some shelter here. This is a good time to mention that if you play this pack, it's honestly probably the best idea to find a shelter like this one instead of building one for yourself like I did at the start. Although this tower is a bit horizontally challenged, to be honest. Not a whole lot of horizontal up, up in here. I tried to fish to get some food and that just didn't go very well. I'm to attempt fishing, I guess. I just wish to fish. I wish to fish. Oh my god. You also might be wondering how many times I've died so far. How many times have I died? I've died nine times. Cool. Yeah, nine times. Keep in mind, I lose if I go over 15. I know this might be a weird time to mention it, but if you're enjoying the video up to this point, a good old fashioned subscribe would honestly be super helpful. Anyway, I looked at my remaining quests. Rotten flesh. I still needed fucking flesh. I ate all my flesh. One of my quests was to go fishing, and with that pond out front, it seemed like the perfect time to do it. On fishing. Okay. I believe I should be... Oh, well, now it's daytime, so I, I can go fishing and actually get some, you know, sustenance food in my... What the fuck? My pond was invaded. Oh, shit. So I went back inside for a moment to ignore my problems and made some combined flesh from the rotten flesh I did have. Combined flesh. Wow, that's awful. <laughs> If it wasn't clear, you can craft combined flesh with five rotten flesh and then use a campfire to turn it into leather. However, I didn't have anywhere close to the amount needed for the quest, so I just went back outside to get rid of the mobs. I placed the campfire down and started fishing, only to realize I can't really fish in a one-by-one -one space. This is the perfect way to fish. Very optimal. You can't fish in a body of water as small as this one, right? I fished for a good while and figured out how to cook my combined flesh into normal leather. Oh, you just put it on the campfire and it cooks. Cool. Look at that. Up to this point, I didn't actually realize this quest required me to make a whole backpack. Oh. Oh, it's two tasks. Backpack. How do you do that? Fwah! I need that much? You're crazy. Ah, oh, crap. I wish I didn't eat my leather food. By the way, do whoever designed this fishing quest? Why? For some reason, you can only turn in raw cod. Even though you might get a ton of other types of fish, it only accepts cod. Meaning that you might have to sit there forever to get the right fish. Which I did. I need the other fish. Also, how is there tropical fish? Uh, fish, uh, fish and... Permafrost, what the fuck? Why do I have to get the only raw cod? What's wrong with salmon? Anyway, I turned that in. Oh, finally. And something amazing happened. All right. What? Oh! I already have this one! One of the rewards for the first quest was tattered cloth, which can be made into wool. I used that wool to make a bed at the start, so I unknowingly completed this quest. I didn't even know! I already have this one! Speaking of quests, let's talk about quest rewards. Like, what the fuck is this? What the fuck? Some of these rewards are a little odd. The quest for killing a snow pig is one of the upper quests, and it only rewards eight cobblestone. I understand this is so you can make a furnace to cook the meat, but then why wouldn't you just make the reward a furnace? The next quest is to cook the snow pig meat, and the reward for that quest is a fishing rod. You can't turn in the pork chop quest until you complete the fishing quest. Why is the reward a fishing rod if you have to complete fishing to get the here? Meaning you need to spend 10 minutes fishing just to earn another fishing rod. Why isn't the reward for the campfire quest a fishing rod so you would have a rod to fish with? Oh yeah. You know how I mentioned that some quests can't be turned in until you complete previous quests? Well, I did something a little dumb. There is a quest for farming some wheat, and it appears after the backpack quest. This means that you can complete the wheat quest, but you can't collect the reward until you do the backpack quest. I didn't realize this, and spent a very long time trying to figure out how to turn it in. Oh, wait. Oh, it's not just to have them. I need to grow them. All right, so a seedy place. Does this count? Um, oh, I have some bone meal. Is this grown? I, this looks weird. Ah, fuck. Yo, let's go. I grew wheat. Yo. I, what? Wheat seeds. Progress one out of, what do you, what else do you want me to do? I, why can't I complete it? I have them in, they're in, they're literally in my hand. They're in my hand and I, and I, I grew these. I grew these fresh from the supple soil. Why are they not working? What the fuck, dude? Dude, how am I supposed to complete this challenge if I literally can't hand it in? That's it. I'm gonna go take a shit. Do you want me to grow it again? I will grow more. I will continue my pilgrimage. I will become a goddamn farmer if I have to. Just let me turn in my goddamn motherfucking seeds. I don't, I don't, I don't even live here. It just ate all of my... God fucking damn it, I have no more bone. And now I hear skeletons. Wait, skeletons? That's actually a good idea now that I think about it. Oh, that's a wraith. 
Okay. Whew. What alcoholic made this? I gave up on trying to complete the quest I already completed, and against my better judgment, headed out into the storm, which I very quickly learned was a bad idea. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Oh. Uh. This is not a good time. The shield. Oh. That was not a good time for the shield to break. So avoiding that whole problem, I tried to farm some more. Holy crap, it's grass. Honestly, this just hurts to watch me slam my small head against the wall. Can you eat? Give me a fruitful harvest in these harsh conditions. I left the house again looking for some wood. I saw this tree and felt bad about cutting it, so I opted to check out the small igloo instead. I had to deal with this creeper first, though. Oh, that's an igloo. Okay, hold on. If I can finesse this. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so fucking bad. What? What the fuck? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? I didn't know what that was and honestly still don't. This ghost literally never appeared again. I found a trapdoor in the igloo, found a strange room with a couple of villagers, and found an eye of the storm. <gasps> Old eye, the eye of the storm. I have no idea what these are for, but I imagine they're probably pretty important as they're in the title of the mod pack. I left the igloo to continue looking for wood and found something even more interesting. Whoa! Wait, that's like a highway. What? I found a highway and was super curious about where it led. So without preparing at all, I started charging down it. It's a little bit long, not gonna lie. It just keeps going. How long is this? Oh, shit. I got involved with a skeleton fight and still couldn't hit shit. I keep... I'm so bad. My aim is so bad. They're just... No one's dying. So I just waited until they started hitting each other and then ran away. Okay. I don't know where this is. Where this highway is going and I'm gunning low on food. Oh, that's a... Oh, no. Oh, shit. They see me. Okay. They're fighting each other again. This is really bad. This is... Oh, fuck. I can't sprint. I can't sprint. What have I gotten myself into? My only option was to get out of that situation and go find some food. I hid under this bridge, started fishing, and then checked out the cave nearby for some supplies and then took a little nap to make it morning again. Time to take a little cave nap. Honestly, I just really missed my cabin. I don't even know where my little cabin was. I missed my cabin. But I had no idea where that was, so I kept exploring the highway. The atmosphere here is honestly incredible. The open areas are bright and mostly safe, but you can't stay on them for too long due to the cold. The tunnels are warm, but dark and could be hiding enemies. I thought this was just a regular zombie, until it clearly wasn't. That's not good. This meant that anytime I was out in the open, I had to sprint and hope the next tunnel wasn't too far away. I really like this dynamic, especially since the mobs would get more and more strange over time. Why did I I say I like that. What the fuck is that? What is this flying fish shit? I kept getting in the fights that seemed to get more and more risky. I don't know if I want to challenge that. The trick is just to get them angry at, it, at each other. Okay, yeah. They're fighting each other. Go! God, why am I following this? I've been on this road for so long and it hasn't led to anywhere. I'm probably just wasting my time. Every place is just the same. That's a zombie. Bro oh my god. I gotta go. That's a zombie brute. I remember from last time that those are not things you should be fighting. Do I have any more food left? Not at the moment, no. Not a bad place to try and get some more food, I guess. I saw some zombies and got excited to get some more rotten flesh until I remembered that I left all of my leather at home. There's some zombies over there. I realized that all my leather was left at home. Fuck. I still killed them and was about to sleep, but then realized the tunnel was way too dangerous. Oh, no. Oh, I, I gotta go. Shit. My fire stick is almost down and I... Oh, no, it's nighttime now. I was now forced out into the open highway again. Come on, this has to lead somewhere. Just keep going. Just keep running. Just get to the next cave. Next tunnel. Normally, this would be okay, but with it being nighttime, I now had the worst of both worlds, as I had to worry about the cold and hidden enemies. Oh! Fuck! Okay. Come on, just keep going. This stretch of highway was very long, and I didn't have another campfire. I don't have another campfire. Of course, I could have just quickly crafted another one, but I didn't realize that in my panic. Oh, go! This was getting really bad. It honestly felt like this game was trying to be as scary as possible. No, I can't end like this. Running in an empty, cold night and having random enemies come out of the dark fog. Go, 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 go. Is enough to make anyone shit themselves. No, my health is running dangerously low. I, oh fuck, I have nothing to eat. Just keep going. Come on, next tunnel can't be that far out, right? Oh, no, I can't even run anymore. Come on. 
I remembered that golden apple from earlier and ate it for a bit of extra strength. Just hoping it would be enough to get me to the next tunnel. Go for it. Trek on to the very end. Oh, what do I do? Ah! I died while looking in my inventory for just a quick moment. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. I'm really upset, actually. It took me a bit to realize, but I pretty much had just lost all of my progress. I honestly was really upset. I don't know where to go now. Oh my god. It's over. Oh my- everything that I had, I lost. Why do I have this? That might seem like a bit of an overkill reaction. I mean, this is fucking Minecraft, let's be honest. But I just lost about six hours of progress in one of the most depressing ways possible. I was out in the middle of a seemingly endless highway in the cold, dead night, all alone, and murdered because I stopped paying attention for just a second. It's... it's a bit dark. <laughs> And just to rub it in, I saw that I still had the soul binding book in my chest, which would have completely fixed all of my problems. Uh, I should have, fuck, I should have used that, huh? But I hadn't used it, so it doesn't matter. Oh, uh, that would have been good to use. I didn't know what to do, so I just headed out, hoping to find that highway again. If you ever try this back, don't fuck with the highway. It will never give, only take. I was pretty out of it. I'm genuinely so upset. I placed the campfire down hoping to get some fish before realizing I didn't even have a fishing rod and I just wasted a campfire. I don't actually have any uh, string. I just wasted that. Cool. Top tier gameplay only on this channel. I kept going and eventually found what I first thought to be a part of the highway. What is that? But I actually had stumbled upon an abandoned city. I thought maybe that this was the place the highway was trying to lead me to. It seemed pretty unsafe, but at this point, I was too invested to leave. Wait, it's a building. It's a whole building. This city seems really cool, but also really unsettling. I had no idea what to make of it. Oh shit. Oh no, 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 no. No, 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 please! <laughs> yep, I died again. Honestly, that was completely my fault. I really shouldn't have expected any other outcome at this point. <sighs> oh my god. A skeleton then got into my house and killed me. And this was the moment when I almost quit the challenge. Everything really had just gotten to me and I really just wanted to cry. I then just bolted out of the house and just ran. I, I really had no plan. I was just running on gamer instinct at this point. I kept going, found a structure that had nothing. What the hell is this? And then died to a skeleton. I only had two lives left at this point and it wasn't looking too bright. I realized that the wheat quest wasn't bugged though. So I guess that's a plus. I know why I can't complete this. So I need to do this one first. I realized that I needed to be way more careful if I was going to complete the challenge. So I collected a few ores and made a few new items. I tried hyping myself up and find the goddamn snow pig and went to go get a few more supplies and almost got murdered by this spider mini boss. Fuck. Sometimes when mobs spawn, they have a chance to be an infernal, which just means they're way stronger than normal because they've been given a bunch of power boosting modifiers. Honestly, if he killed me, I probably would have just quit the game right then and there. Oh yeah, and right after a zombie got into my house. That was fun. I finally headed back out into the storm, hoping that I could find something useful. I still needed to find a snow pig for my quest, so that was one of my main driving forces. I found this random small house, not really anything important, but I like this little straw effigy, so I took it with me. Straw effigy, guess I'll keep that. I've only got two lives left. I just need to get as much full as possible so I can actually survive and then go searching for my stuff. Ow, motherfucker. God fucking damn it. Piece of shit. I was a little bit angry. I kept exploring and oh, that's an ice dragon. What? <gasps> Oh no. I'm sure you know about dragons if you've seen any RL Craft video. So it was best not to bother it. Okay. Okay. It's okay. 
Oh, sneak on by. I found this weird altar on the ice. I don't know what it does, so not really important. But what is important is this huge structure. It had a bunch of wool, which could be used to make clothing to keep warm. So I tried collecting as much as I could, only to find out that for some reason, only white wool can be made in the clothes. Does it really have to be only white wool? That is a bit of a... Ah. Oh. I decided that I wanted to chill here for the night. So I tried to make a sleeping bag and found out they can't actually be crafted. I honestly don't know how you'd get any besides the one from that one quest. So I just made a bed and forsaked my cabin home. Am I willing to forsake my home at this point? I think I need to. Um, rip in peace, cabin home. So far, most of this run has been pretty bleak. I was already starving, only surviving on random berries. But then I finally had a morsel of luck. Oh my God. There he was, the snow pig. With that, I was able to complete two of the quests and even get a decent bit of food. I only had one quest left. If I could collect enough rotting flesh to make a backpack, then the challenge would be one. One left. If I can complete packing for travel, I've gotten it. I've won. I slept in the snow. It's quite cozy, honestly. And then I made my way down a cave, hoping to find some regular zombies because fuck fighting the frozen ones. I stumbled across this strange new biome with these small rock monsters. What are those? Oh shit, they noticed me. I don't know why, but they make the scariest noises ever, which are very intimidating. Huh. But in reality, they go down in just a few hits. This is another cool example of those cave biomes I mentioned earlier, but don't let the nice caves distract you. I don't think I should be here. I can't let my curiosity be my downfall again. My curiosity has killed me far too many times. And make sure you don't fight with the fucking guidebook. No, no. My exploring eventually led to a mine shaft with a monster box. My idea was to place a bed in the mine and attempt to fight the monster box for rotten flesh. I got distracted though and explored a little bit of the mine shaft, collecting some cobwebs to make wool clothing later. You know, just in case my current plan didn't work. Then, I had the most astronomical luck. Oh. Ah, fuck. What? Oh no. Yeah, so what happened was the creeper exploded and one of his little fucking manlets just happened to be an infernal and got a modifier that increased his damage by an extreme amount and just fucking decimated me. I was now at 14 deaths, meaning this was my second to last life. God, I'm so scared. I, I, I'm, I'm actually really scared. Oh my God. I set up the fight the mob cage, and it goes as well as you'd expect. Run back, run back, run back. There's three zombies, which there's four zombies. That would be enough. That would be enough. Final fight that I need to do. Shit, I'm poisoned. I'm poisoned. I'm poisoned. I'm poisoned. No, 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 no. Get out of the book. Shit, shit. No, 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 no. Oh my god, the fucking swamp. Oh my god, the lava monster came in out of nowhere. There was a hidden lava monster that almost killed me. And then all of the mobs burned to death. What is that is just my luck. Right as I try and do a big fight and now they're all burning. Meaning I got none of the fucking loot. I can't do this tactic. I then tried to take out the lava monster and that also went swimmingly. No, oh my god. Oh, ah, ah. I was very desperate at this point. Fuck. I tried even fishing in this. I I don't know why I thought this would work. Permafrost doesn't even change in anything about fishing. I've been playing Minecraft for years. I know this. I don't think it's possible. I decided to go for cave food instead. Honestly, I don't know why anyone would eat anything else. This stuff is delectable. I wanted to head back to the surface because the caves were just far too dangerous. No. Oh. No. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I almost just died to cave spiders, despite them being locked in their den. I feel lightheaded, even at the end of the world. <gasps> I don't, I don't need, I'm, I'm losing my shit. Before I left, I grabbed some fire glass, which is essentially a more powerful version of coal. I used them to make some fiery torches and then used the cobwebs to make some wool clothing and headed up to the surface. I was surprised to see all of the wool working so well as I only had a coat and pants. What? I'm still getting hypothermia I'm wearing? Oh my god. Wait, it's not hurting me. At first, I thought it stopped all damage from hypothermia, but it actually just greatly slows it down. I assumed that if I had all the pieces, hypothermia wouldn't be a problem at all. I was happy that I was outside, but uh, I need to find some, some way out of this fucking...
fucking... I was a bit annoyed by this geographically challenging area. I need trees, damn it! I finally made it on top of the mountain, and then two zombies tried to sneak up on me. <sighs> oh, fuck. Okay, you can do this. Here we go, we got one. Ah! No! Stop! I was now on my last life. Any more deaths? And the challenge was failed. <laughs> to say I was freaking out a little bit would be an understatement. Fucking right! I made an attempt to get back to my items. Shit. Go, go, go. I found a random igloo on the way and slept. Things would be a little bit safer with it now being morning. That was a lie. No, they weren't. I had to be really careful, as any damage I might take could be fatal. <sighs> stop. Please. Please. Please stop. Just let me live. If I get hit once, this challenge is done. Any sign of where I went. I kept looking. <gasps> there it is. And thank God, I found my items. I was actually screwed without them. I ate my K-food and took a long nap. The last quest was 100% going to be the hardest, especially with only one life. I don't know how I'm going to complete this. This last thing is very, very difficult. Now I'm out of food. I'm out of hunger. Come on, I just need some... Yes! Shit! Go, 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 go. I came across another structure that was actually a dungeon. I've seen these dungeons in other mod packs before and realized that this could be the key factor to winning the challenge. Maybe the dungeon might actually have some leather. I went inside the bedroom and, of course, a zombie snuck up on me. Holy fuck. food a potato nectar floral laudanum i don't know what these do i'm scared that they'll kill me holy shit let's go but then i noticed that he came from a zombie spawner and i got an idea wait i have an idea what if i use this as a, as a trap this could work this could actually work i started baiting out zombies from the spawner hoping to farm them for their flesh there we go not too bad oh my god Wait, why don't I just do this? I'm an idiot. I set up a mob trap. With this setup, I could hopefully safely kill zombies and get the rest of the flesh needed to win. Oh my God. Wait, this is it. Now I want you to understand. This is actually a really easy plan to pull off, but never underestimate what a man with a negative IQ might come up with. I honestly don't know what I was thinking, but I put these three blocks down and it never occurred to me that the zombie could just jump over them. I've legit been playing Minecraft for years and I'm fully aware of the capabilities of zombies, but in the moment, it just completely went over my head. I realized it a second too late and uh... No! I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What? Oh my god. They call it survival of the fittest, and I'm certainly not the fittest, but I am somehow surviving. Eat the fucking carrot! I'm an idiot. I'm going fucking insane. I have this perfect plan. And I can barely even get that right. Oh my god, and my shield broke too. My stupidity knows no bounds. I finally undumbassed my mob trap and started killing the zombies one by one. I'm actually racking up this rotten flesh. This was really working. How much combined flesh do I need? I need eight, and then I'm, then I'm done. Once I get that, I've actually won. Oh my fucking god. The only problem was that this was very very slow and i already had like nine hours of footage from this game and i really didn't want any more so i tried to adjust the trap to allow a few more zombies and oh fuck oh that's that's becoming a bit much the hand oh my god that's becoming a bit much the handle i may have bit off a little more than i can chew i didn't really have a way to get the rotting flesh so i actually just put myself into a blocky prison i think i made a mistake i thought i could do it faster because it was taking so long and i got greedy what the fuck what how'd you get in this one zombie somehow got inside. This actually shouldn't be possible. How did he get in? I have no idea how this could have happened. It's still beyond me. I can't believe I ruined this perfect goddamn plan. Eventually, I adjusted the trap in a way that let me sneakily grab the flesh. Bring me the flesh. Oh! Oh my 
my god. This was my final chance. What? What hit me? What even hit me? What? What the fuck hit me? <gasps> no! My hunger fully depleted, and for a moment, I got terrified that I was going to die. You can't die from this, right? Oh my god. But then I remembered that hunger doesn't kill you on normal difficulty. I thought you could- I thought for a second I was going to die. Shout out to me 40 minutes ago for not setting it to hard. Storm. Nice. However, with no more food, if I was accidentally hit by anything, the challenge would be over. This is the most difficult time I've ever had making a goddamn motherfucking backpack. Also, my fire alarm went off while I was playing, but I was not about to let that stop me. Oh my god. It scared the shit out of me. I'm not fucking leaving. Fuck off. I've killed 50 fucking zombies. After a while, I finished off all the zombies and I just needed two more flesh. However, my fire stick was on its final charge. I needed the final zombie to drop those two pieces. I broke the wall and slowly tried to lure the zombie without getting hit. Okay, okay, come on. Just have fun getting over here. He dropped two pieces of flesh. I did it. Oh my god. With a spark of joy, I crafted the backpack. And submitted it to the final quest. What? Oh yeah, there's another page of quests. But I originally thought the first page was the entire quest line, so that other page can just fuck off. I've done it. The first page of the first quest line. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. That counts for everything. Let's be fucking honest. Fuck that shit. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I fought, I fought so hard. Let it be known that I have completed 50% of the first fucking quest line. This recording is four hours. Anyway, um, permafrost video game good, challenge difficult, and fuck rates, they deserve no happiness. Those fucking pieces of 